jolted the head back. You like that, Freddie, didn't you? Sit down. Freddie has been standing the entire match. He's uh, fired up for Bundy Red Friday Night Football. Why not? Here's Boy Boy, a little bit of that time. But uh, tackled by Lowry and uh, Norrie. Now Hindmarsh. And oh, great ball! Keating is literally collared there by Inglis. What an offload from Hindmarsh. Now Mortimer and Robson. Hey, cut out ball at the Tahu. Early ball, but confronted there by Kronk and Nielsen. Last tackle, 20 metres away from the Melbourne Storm line. Home team down by six as Hayne has got it well placed. McDougall, the ball is loose. And Slater has cleaned up for the Storm again. Haven't they picked up the crumbs here tonight, Melbourne, on the back of Parramatta's kicks, which are quite menacing. But it's no fluke, Bossy. They get men around. Slater pushed hard to get there. In the first minute, a, a bomb was put over Cooper Cronk. But there was Melbourne Storm players there to pick the crumbs up. They worked for this. It's no fluke. A couple of very classy offloads tonight from Kalis and also from uh, Hindmarsh for Parramatta. And uh, kicking on the fourth tackle, Cameron Smith. Fielded by Jared Hayne. Strides back over the 20. Now... Faces Cooper Cronk, who makes the tackle. And that is number one inside the 30. Luke Burt makes some metres, but chased down from behind by Brian Norrie. It's not a big crowd here tonight, kept away by the, the weather, I imagine, but they're very vocal. Played by Inu, Robson, Kalis, and Hayne has done well to tip it on to Mateo, who keeps it alive. Great ball from Robson to Moiboy. Moiboy went over got the finch, she will have quite a headache. Now Robson to Mateo. 15 metres from the storm line. Good attack, Parramatta. They've made 80 metres on the set. They get the last tackle. Mateo was stunned by that previous tackle. Mortimer knocked down by Smith. The kick was too deep. And that is such a disappointing end to a great set. It's a disappointing play the ball. For letting Mateo get the ball, got the ball in space, but played the ball in eight to ten seconds. Cameron Smith come out of the line, put so much pressure on Daniel Mortimer, and in the end, Paul Randall was set, but it was the play the ball. Too slow. So Storm back with it, and another run for Lowry. Had three years here at Parramatta, and has played all the games for the Storm this year without scoring a try. Blair to play it. He's rugged tonight as always. Adam Blair. Smith. That right elbow with some heavy bandaging on it. It's his first game since the test match. So he's fit for Origin 2, which is bad news for Matty Ballard. Crook, here comes Slater. Here we go, folks. Slater's under the ball. Hayner's got him. He's offloaded off the ground. Play on, says Archer. Intercept by Rennie. And Parramatta come back with it. The two fullbacks come together. Hayne and Slater. Now Mateo. How good was that? Once again, the indicator. Slater, where he is, the ball will go there. And is this an entree for next Wednesday night? He challenged Slater on him. Hayne. He challenged him. Hayne was up to the task. So now Parramatta in possession. Overlap here on the right-hand side. It's about four on one. Smith's got the ball at halfway. Now for Reddy. Inside for Inu. Again, Finch has been left behind, and Hoffman makes the tackle. It's a rough old night for the former eel, Brett Finch. Now Moy Moy lines them up. The bowling ball with legs. And they're collecting a few 10 pins on the way through. Now Mortimer. And is well collected there by Blair. Tackle number four, 17 gone, 6 0 to the storm as the ball is put high across towards the wing of McDougall. Oh, oh he's back of himself. Parramatta. Finch has ended up taking it over the sideline. I hope Kevin Sheedy was watching that. We'll take a break in Bundy Red Friday Night Football. Well, in the week where AFL has had a lot of coverage, Friday Night Football, Brett Finch has put up his hands. He wants to be at the uh, bounce at the centre square. Watch this. 
McDougall, Falcons himself. He's gone. Ball will pop up again. Watch Finch. Oh, up he goes. Is that a Ruckman? How high no, was he? He was looking for the Ruckman. That's wonderful play. And here is Moy Moy. Moy Moy, 5 away. The 5 8 from the scrum. Big pressure on Melbourne. Robson. Hindmarsh. Back in field comes Mateo. Cut off load. Wonderful tackle. Billy Slater. 10 away from the line. Robson, terrible pass. On the bounce. Oh, Ben Smith put it down. Well, the pass was miles in front of Chris Keating. And on a slippery night like this, you don't need back rowers who are 192 centimetres bending down to get balls off their, uh, off their shoelaces. Yeah, that's come from an inexperienced dummy half. Crucial down this end of the field. Your dummy half work's got to be spot on. I'm a bit critical of the left-hand side of Parramatta. Very flat. Every time it's gone over there, there's just been no opportunity. They've given their ball player no room to move. And they've broken down every time they've gone over there. Another huge weekend on Nines Wide Water Sports, but uh, arguably the highlight will be the French Open final in the women's 10.50 tomorrow night, live from Roland Garros. Stosa versus Schiavone. The Australian versus the Italian. Samantha Stoza, semi-finals last year, and now the final this year. And along the way is knocked over Enon, and also the world number one, Serena Williams, is a slip into the tackle, into Ben Smith, has seen Hoffman cough it up. He split above the left eye as well. First cut, buddy. But that's an awkward fall the there. It was in uh, Ryan's schoolboy days. It was at this ground where he ran into a goalpost as he was trying to score the try. Knocked himself out. Really? <laughs> oh, it's an amazing that's incident. Did, that's that's so smart. For St. Gregory's College, Campbelltown. You know everything, Andrew. <laughs> oh, but it was, a, it was quite scary, to be honest. We thought, we thought he'd uh, passed away. <laughs> he hit the post so hard. But, did he uh, score? No, he didn't score. No, the, uh, the eyes rolled back into the head for Ryan. Thankfully, he was back at school on Monday. Capital of Australia was Tokyo, but he was, he was back at school on Monday. Anyway, he's gone on to be a terrific player. Ryan Hoffman, old boy of St. Greg's. Here's Mateo. 12 metres from the line. Finch across there. He's game Finch. He's uh, done a few rounds tonight with the heavyweights, but he's come back for more. Keating inside for Kalis. Game 247 tonight for the Parramatta co captain. Hasn't scored a try in the last two years, Nathan Kalis. Robson, Chris Keating. Now to Hayne. Hayne on to Reddy. Into on his outside. Can't get it to him. Good tackle. A real bear hug there by Inglis. Last tackle, Parramatta again. The play the ball was slow. Keating's kick is good. Tuffy is there and up he goes. And that's a feature of this young bloke's play. In only game number six of his NRL career, he is very good under the high ball. It was a great take by Duffy, but it was the pressure by Cameron Smith once again. The sort of pressure that this, the 20 metre sprint to put pressure on Chris Keating. People don't see that, but the coach, Craig Bellamy, certainly does. Now, Nielsen with it for Melbourne, and just uh, thrown to ground there by Ben Smith, who's up to 15 tackles for the night. Top of the Eels count. Oh, and then front on Moi Moi! Oh, that is the bowling ball on Sikamanu. It was a brick, you know what, Sikamanu. Dear, dear, dear. <laughs> what about that collision? Moy Moy will go off now, but uh, he, he's made his last play in his first step, one to remember. He spent the last three months of last year inspiring his team. Has he done it today? Six more, six more. What a try he scored in the grand final. Fui Fui. Remember that one. Second half. That's it, Amanu. You sit on the bench for the first 20 minutes. You get out there, your first touch of the ball, and you run into a 110 kilo wrecking ball. He smashes you and just gives you a little tap on the back. Now the Eels to play it through Manor. And uh, Robson skips up. And uh, Hoffman now with a head bandaged. 45 metres from the line, Hindmarsh goes short, Mortimer 
Mortimer, that may have been thought to Mateo. Great hands. Hain passes without looking. Mortimer kept it alive. Back to Hain. Now it's on the deck. Knocked on by Finch. Play on Parramatta. But uh, Kalis can't quite, quite get to it. But it will be an eel's feed. The Eels have had all the field position, all the momentum the last 10 minutes. Playing offload football, no look passes. But they've yet to score. They've got to make so something of this field position and all this possession. Well, to our viewers outside of Sydney, today was just a, a bludger of a day. It, it poured rain. It was, it was terrible. And you thought tonight was just going to be a dour struggle. Lots of kick. Lots of uh, playing field position. We've come here tonight, it's totally different. And the way the two sides have approached the game, it's uh, quite fantastic. It's compelling viewing at the moment. Manor to play it here. 25 metres out from the line. Hindmarsh goes short to Smith. They're turning on a show, Parramatta and Melbourne. The grand finalists of last year. Hey now, up in the line with purpose to Mortimer. Now for Toho. Takes on Nielsen and Kronk. He's made some big tackles out on that right side for Melbourne tonight, Cooper Cronk. Ken Menner with it. He knows his job coming off the bench. Five away from the line now. Plays it. Not quite getting to his feet. That's become a bit of a trademark. Now Mortimer ducks and passes away to Kalis. Kept alive. Now Melbourne under pressure. Keating. And it comes to Smith. And the young pup, the mad pup, McDougal makes one hell of a tackle. Hayne with the ball, five from the line, ready. Then up came Inglis, in oh! He'll score for Parramatta. He got past Billy Slater. They couldn't scramble any longer. It is wonderful attacking rugby league. Greg Inglis has been left behind here for Melbourne. He's in strife, but the Eels have their first try. I think Greg Inglis is on the end of a maybe a forearm from Reddy. Unintentional, but here's plan B. They went to plan A, the bomb. I reckon five times they've been down here. Plan B, give it to Jared Ain, see what he can come up with. Finds ready, hits and spins in the tackle. Here's Jared going to the line, sizing him up, goes for the short ball. Oh, there it is, not unintentional. It's Reason an accident, to... but the elbow looked like it's like it's hit Greg Inglis in the, in the jaw. He's up and about, he's all right. Plan B, Jared Hain. Joel Reddy had a bit of trouble with a striking charge back in round five earlier this year against Canberra. Copped a suspension from it as well. But uh, Inglis is okay here. And uh, Burt will have the shot at goal. 15 metres in from touch. He's closing in on 500 career goals, Luke Burt. He's up to 493, as you can see there. Been a terrific contributor to the Parramatta cause. And now to level up at 6 all in Bundy Red. Friday night football, Burt's King. Successful. 6 all. the Eels in the storm. game of rugby league underway here 26 minutes gone and six all first try went to Slater the reply came from Inu and that manner to play it just short of the 20 meter line let's go to the sideline Tim Gilbert yeah it's a great game hasn't it and it's got a real state of origin dimension about this Mal Meninga and his Queensland selectors as we look at the uh, the super there 7 30 in a couple of weeks time Wednesday June 16, but Mal Meninga and his selectors would have been a little bit nervous when Greg Inglis went down. Also, a couple of bolters. Could Tim Manor come into the New South Wales side? Or Nathan Hindmarsh? Could he be resurrected? Now, uh, Keating, and here is that man, Nathan Hindmarsh. I'd have known Graham as if he was made captain, to be honest, and that's no disrespect to Kurt Gidley. Our most experienced, New South Wales most experienced forward. Kick downfield, fielded by Duffy. On it comes to Slater. Surrounded by troops, but that doesn't mean nothing's on for Billy. 
and tackled 25 metres away from the storm line. Now, Duffy. He found out about.